Let's uh, continue. As um, I explained in the very beginning, because of uh, time limit, we don't go through those uh, examples. Uh, we leave uh, examples to um, synchronous session. Um, yes, uh, this page is uh, examples. This page is examples. We jump those uh, pages. Uh, last time we discussed uh, Ohm law. Uh, now it's uh, Kirchhoff current law, KCL. I have to say, Kirchhoff current law is the most important. Yes, um, almost everything about uh, circuit analysis. At first, I'll give you a definition in textbook. What is uh, Kirchhoff current law? On textbook, the Kirchhoff current law is a sum of all current at any node in a circuit equals zero. Um, that, that is uh, what the textbook tells. My own explanation is sum of all current entering any point must equal sum of all current leaving the current. You may feel this uh, slightly easier to understand. I can further simplify this uh, statement. What is the current uh, Kirchhoff current law? Kirchhoff current law in my uh, simplified version is uh, current in equals current out. Current in equals current out. I guess all of you can understand what is current in equals current out. So, uh, here is uh, one example. Uh, still, we need uh, some example. And is, this is one example. If we have uh, a wire here, and then this wire, you connect uh, two wires. Uh, if here you have a 10 amp current, uh, this current must split into two parts. Uh, if one part is a six amp, this part must be four amp. That means those two, you plus together, must uh, equal this. That is the current in, that is uh, here, you have two current out. And here, that, that is a node, that is a node. Now, if we go back to this uh, statement here, sum of all currents entering any point, uh, now is, uh, there is only one, because this is a thing, uh, must equal sum of all currents leaving the point. This is a point, leaving this point, this is a turn, that is a turn. I'm not quite sure if you can understand this, that uh, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> so again, what is the Kirchhoff current law? Kirchhoff current law says current in equals current out. Uh, if we consider a river, a river at any location, water in must equal water out. Otherwise, the river either dry or either dry out or overflow. So that's uh, exactly the same principle. Now uh, the next uh, law is a Kirchhoff voltage law, uh, KVL. Kirchhoff voltage law says sum of all voltage across any closed path in a circuit equals zero. Now uh, this uh, statement is equally difficult to follow as a Kirchhoff current law in textbook. I don't uh, intend to spend uh, much time on uh, explaining this, uh, this law. It is more difficult to use Kirchhoff voltage law than Kirchhoff current law. 
Kirchhoff voltage law is less useful because if a circuit can be analyzed by KVL, it can certainly be analyzed by KCL. Uh, I have to use uh, this example to, uh, to explain what is, uh, uh, what is a Kirchhoff current law. Uh, I can't jump this example because I like to use this example to explain further how we can make use of Kirchhoff current law. In this example, I have uh, two sources, one voltage source, one current source. Uh, it must be a value, uh, that, that is a six one. So this is a six one. Now you have a uh, two resistors, there's 10 ohm, 50 ohm. Uh, the question, the task is to find out what is the current A0 that is here. What is uh, this value? And then find out power consumed by each resistor. Here we have a two resistors. Uh, let's see how can we make use of Kirchhoff current law to analyze this uh, circuit. Now to use Kirchhoff current law to analyze our circuits, we need to follow the following steps. At first, we need to assume a common ground. Now, we look back to this circuit, there is no ground there. Obviously, here we can assume this is the ground. Uh, you may argue with me, uh, you can assume anywhere. Yes, it is. You can assume anywhere, but here is uh, looks reasonable. We assume this is the ground. Look at T junction. Assume a dummy parameter V at T junction. Uh, look at this circuit. Why is T junction? Uh, this. Here you have a T junction. Uh, I look like a T. You have a T junction. And at T junction, I assume the potential is a V. And then we start to make use of a Kirchhoff current law to write the equation. We look at the back to um, this uh, circuit. Here we have a voltage source. This uh, voltage here is ground, that is 120. That potential here is uh, V. Now we know this potential difference. This is a 120 minus V. That is a potential across this uh, resistor. I divide by this uh, 10, yeah, this is 10 ohm. That is a current there. That is a current. Okay. This is a current. Actually, this is a I zero. Yeah, it is. This is I zero. Now look at this point. So we have a second current going. That is here. This is six one. You have a second current. Now those two currents, Kirchhoff law says this output current must be equal. Those two together. That is a Kirchhoff current law. That means current in equals current out. Now how can we work out this current? This current we know the potential is V. So that is V divided by 50. So that is uh, current out. Now we have current in, those are two elements there. Uh, if I use uh, add, if I use uh, add equal, equal. Okay. Uh, 120 minus V divided by 10 plus six equals V divided by 50. So by Kirchhoff current law, now we can write this equation. That is uh, exactly this equation. 120 minus 10 minus V divided by 10 plus six equals V divided by 50. So now we need to find out what is uh, V. Um, from here, how can work out this? work out V equals 150. I don't spend time here. We leave this, uh, either you do yourself or we leave this to uh, 
to a synchronized succession, how to de de derive this result. Now, uh, by solving this equation, we can work out V equals 150. But once we know this uh, potential 150, we go back to this uh, circuit, we can work out what is uh, uh, the current. The current here I mentioned, this actually is uh, I zero equals 120 minus V divided by 10. So now we know V is uh, 150. So this is a 120 minus 150 divided by 10 equals minus three I. Minus three I, what does this mean? Minus. Minus means the current actually flow this way, flow this way. You may wonder, you have a voltage source, why you, you don't have a current go this way? Because here you have a too big a current. This current actually, actually case, the current goes here, I go there, and then I go there. So minus three I means the current actually flows into voltage source because of uh, the current source. Uh, power consumed by 10 ohm resistor, we can work out. Uh, we know the current here. Current here is a minus three. We use uh, that so equation is uh, P equals I square R. Uh, I is a minus three square times R equals 10 equals 10 here, that is 10. So now we can work out this uh, 90 volts. It doesn't really matter which direction the current flowing, the power consumed by resistor always positive. That's, this is a 90. Now power consumed by 50 ohm resistor, we can also easily work out uh, because we know this uh, voltage V is uh, 150. Now we can use uh, this equation P equals V squared divided by R. We can use uh, this equation. So V is a 150 square divided by 50. This is a 450 watts. Okay, we stop uh, here. We have uh, the third part for this week. <laughs>